is the lease really a triple net lease? Well, first of all, you have to read the lease in C. A lot of brokers will market the lease as a triple net lease or a net lease investment. And you got to look through the marketing package and read it and see what it says. Uh, a lot of brokers don't tell you the whole truth. So really what you want to do is ask for the lease document and see what you as the landlord and the owner would be responsible for. There's really three types of leases in the business. There's absolute net lease, there's a triple net lease, and then there's a double net lease. An absolute net lease is the best. It's going to be the lowest yield, but it's a true hands-off investment where you don't have to do anything. No roof, no structure, no tenant calls, just collect a check every single month. A triple net lease is going to be pretty much like the absolute net lease, but you might be responsible for roof and structure. So you might have a little bit of oversight uh, in a triple net lease, but not much. And the other type of lease is a double net lease where you're going to be responsible for roof, structure, usually parking lot, uh, sometimes HVAC, sometimes plate glass windows, striping, underground utilities, overhead utilities, fencing, stuff like that. So really what you want to do is at the end of the day, read the lease, know what you're responsible for. Don't rely on what a broker tells you and don't rely on their marketing package because what a lot of times they do is they try and get you in the door with their marketing and then you open up escrow and you read the lease and you're like, wait a minute, this deal isn't how it was represented. So end of the day, read the lease.